stand up and fight. Because when you stand up and fight, the person beside you stands up and fights and went off. I've just realised what she's doing. I've just realised what she's doing. The Tories know they can't win the election on the economy. They can't win the election on uh, NHS, education, crime. They can't win it on any of these things because they failed for the last 13 years. So her tactic now is she's just trying to hypnotise us. Greetings and welcome. Now, you all seem to enjoy my last video on Suella Braverman's speech, so uh, let's do another one, shall we? <laughs> Penny Morden today. Now, I, honestly, I haven't seen this speech, but I have seen online people saying it's pretty bonkers, so <sighs> let's do it, shall we? Now, I, I, I can't. I can't sit through it. I can't sit here and watch it like I did last time. Uh, so I've got to drive to Worthing, so I'm just going to play the audio while I'm in the van and, and, and give my thoughts. Kind of see it like, you know, like when you take a dump at work on the company time. It's kind of the same, same sort of thing. I don't want it encroaching on my own time. <laughs> I'll do it while I'm working, thanks. So Penny Modern, so she's the leader of the House of Commons, right? That's her job title. So I guess what the British people are, 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 are crying out for in this speech um, you know, we'd love to hear some stuff about government sleaze and corruption in the House of Commons. We've had about 40 cases in the ministerial code being broken over the last couple of years. Uh, you've got Owen Patterson lobbying, all these sort of things. You know, Parliament is just, it's just a sleaze bag now, isn't it? So the leader of the House of Commons, you know, going forward in her speech, I want to hear what she's going to do to clear this stuff up. Bloody Lebrev son of KGB agents being let into the House of Lords. And while we're on the House of Lords, that bloody, um, what's her name? Uh, Michelle, Michelle Moan, that one that uh, just brought a, a, a PPE contract out of thin air, just made a PPE contract out of thin air when it was time to give uh, government, lucrative government contracts out and then siphoned about 32 million out of that uh, for useless PPE that couldn't come in time. So yeah, I'd love to see what she's got to say about all that. Are we going to get it? <laughs> I'm not hopeful. <laughs> Whether you're a new member and this is your first conference or you have been a stalwart of the party for decades, you have all had to stand up to bullies. You've had your offices graffitied, you've been trolled online, you've been called scum. You Do you ever wonder why? Do you not ever like sit around and wonder why you're trolled online? Why people call you scum? Why thousands of people turn up at your conference to protest? Do you, do you ever just like sit there and think, you know what, why? I mean, we're doing a good job, aren't we? Yeah, of course we're doing a good job. I mean, think of all the amazing things that we've done over the last 13 years. I'm sure there's something, can there? Yeah, 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 there's something. We just can't think of it right now because what I have to say to you today is not for the faint-hearted. Conference, we face the fight of our lives, and our country needs us again to stand up and fight. Hey. Stand, stand up, up and, and fight. fight. Who are you fighting? Against, against the odds. odds. <laughs> against the polling. polling. Against the sneering commentary. How about, how about just do a better job? Instead of like fighting the smearing commentary against the polling. <laughs> Fight against the polling. How about just do a better job? How about just sort out homelessness? How about sort out food banks? How about sort out child poverty? How about sort out crumbling schools? How about sort, sorting out a housing crisis? Why don't you just do a better job? Has that ever crossed your mind? Instead of, we have to fight, we have to fight the, the polls, the polls are really bad, we have to fight. Do a better job. Stand up and fight against the sanctimonious claptrap of a Labour Party who have forgotten their MRSA infected hospitals, their soaring council tax and fuel duty, mass youth unemployment and the economic mess they left us to sort out. This is a parody, right? This has got to be a parody. Do you see, do this lot seriously think that the country is in a better place in 2023 than it was in 2010? Pluck any person off the street, I don't care where their political alliance lies, 
pluck them out, ask them, were you better off in 2010 or were you better off now? No one is going to say that the country is in a better state. You're in cuckoo land. You're, to, to quote Roy Keane, you're in absolute cuckoo land. Stand up and fight. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> who? Fight who? Stand up and fight because when we do, all is possible. Now, what does that even later mean? On, now, as you know, I am a Portsmouth girl, and on the South Coast, we know a thing or two about fighting. Over the years, we have been in one scrap after another, and my city still bears the scars to this day. Many of you in this hall will remember the 1980s. I know what you're thinking. Mordant couldn't remember the 1980s. <laughs> She's far too young. Conference, I have to tell you, I was there. And one of my first memories was standing on the hot walls in Portsmouth, and I was watching HMS Hermes take the Falklands Task Force out of the harbor. And I stood proud that day. I knew, watching those men and those ships, that my country stood up to bullies. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I've not heard you mention one thing about the House of Commons, your day-to-day -day job. It's just a wank fest for Britain, isn't it? Oh, tally-ho, chaps. We know a thing or two about fighting on the South Coast. Way up the lads. Whoa. In the Navy, in the Navy. What do you want to, why, what does this tell me about why I should vote you in in the next election? What does this tell me about what you're going to do in your role as leader of the House of Commons? What have you told me? So why have I taken you all back to the 1980s? Yes, please tell me. Very simply, conference, because that is where the Labour Party now wishes to return. Make no, no mistake. mistake. What? Haven't you just spent the last 10 minutes telling us how great the 80s was? How great Margaret Thatcher was? How great we stood up to the Falklands? You're in charge the whole of the 1980s! So why, why is the 1980s so bad? You're in charge the whole of the 10 years, the whole decade of the 80s. We must never again let this country to be subject to the bully boy barons of militant trade unions. The Matt Racks the Mick Lynches, people who say they are going to defend your immunity. People who say, do you know what, rail workers are a bit hard up, I think we should get them a pay rise. People that say, do you know what, we really need to address this problem with the fact that doctors and nurses are going off to New Zealand and Australia because they're paying them far more. You know, we actually pay them less than pretty much any Western democracy in the world. People that say that, <laughs> Penny, basically. So if you remember nothing else from what I have said today, remember this. Stand up and fight. Oh, God, not this. Stand up and fight for our families, for workers, for the protectors, for the wealth creators. Stand <laughs> this is not even hiding it now. Pro protect the wealth creators. Yeah, yeah, great, yeah. Jacob Rees-Mogg was interviewed at this conference as well. They were talking about HS2. He was going, yeah, it's a massive waste of taxpayers' money. And the interviewer said, well, what, what would you rather spend that money on? No, you know, no hesitation. Oh, uh, tax breaks for inheritance tax. You're presumably waiting for HS2 to be taken off the map now? Yes, it should be put out of its misery. It should be humanely destroyed. Why? because it's a vast waste of taxpayers' money on a railway that doesn't do anybody any good. And you would like to see that money that was spent on HS2 go straight into tax cuts? Yeah, I think that would be a very good idea. I mean, I think you could use that money to get rid of inheritance tax, for example. Yeah, so rich can pass on more money to their kids. Great. No, no hesitation, no, no shame, no nothing. They just admit it. Look after the wealth creators, Penny says. Look after them. Win Stand up and fight. <laughs> For the freedoms we have won against socialism, whether it is made of velvet or iron. What are you talking about? Have courage and conviction because when you do, you move our countrymen, our communities, and capital of all kinds to our cause. Stand up and fight. 
confident because when you stand up and fight, the person beside you stands up and fights. And when off, I've just realised what she's doing. I've just realised what she's doing. The Tories know they can't win the election on the economy, they can't win the election on uh, NHS, education, crime, they can't win it on any of these things because they've failed for the last 13 years. So her tactic now is she's just trying to hypnotise us to vote for <laughs> that, that is what this is. Fight for your right, fight, fight for this, fight, the person next to you fight, we will fight, we will fight. You're like, oh, uh, fight, yeah, yeah, fight, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, X on the Tory box, yeah, next election, done. And when our party stands up and fights, the nation stands up and fights. And when our nation stands up and fights, other nations stand up and fight. And they stand up and fight for the things upon which the entire progress of humanity depends. Freedom. That is what conservatives do. That is what this nation does. Have courage. Bring hope. Stand up and fight. Stand up and fight. Who are we fighting? Who are we fighting? Stand up and fight. Stand up and fight. Who, who are we fighting? Oh, we're, uh, we're fighting Labour. We're fighting Labour, okay. Why, why are we fighting Labour? Oh, because, um, you know, they don't look after the wealth creators. Oh, right, okay. Well, what, what, what will they do then? Uh, well, they'll probably just, you know, put that money into public services and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Um, don't we really need money in public services, though? Like, NHS in tatters, you know... Uh, schools are, are literally crumbling from the walls. Don't we need that money? Yeah, but that's not actually the way to do it. The way to do it is you give like tax breaks to rich people, and then they'll like open up a few more Amazon factories. They'll create a few minimum wage jobs, and then people will pay tax on those jobs. And um, you know, once the Tories have taken their bit for their donors, there'll there'll be a few quid left over for the schools. All oh, right. Okay. Um, should we not just give it direct to the public services? Would that not be easier? No, no, no. It's not the way to do it. Not the way to do it. <laughs> it's just bonkers. Oh, so I went off on a rant then. That, yeah, that, that truly is bonkers. I mean, like I said, they, they must just be trying to hypnotise us to vote for them now because what the fuck was that? 20 minutes of garbage rhetoric there's nothing there there's nothing of substance the same with all these speeches this should be a job interview you should be telling us what you're going to do if you're re-elected i didn't hear one single thing about her job in the house of commons what are you going to do to clear up sleaze and corruption oh god that was that was painful if you enjoyed the video <laughs> click a like <laughs> subscribe if you're not subscribed there'll probably be another video up there you can check that one out as well Till next time. God, that's 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 bonkers. It's absolutely bonkers.